Hi guys, welcome to the Jill Cut Studio. My name is Katerina and I'm the dreamer and maker behind Jill Cut. Today we're gonna do a little ledger together. So stick around. Bye. Just a little disclaimer before we start, don't forget to wear your safety material, so your goggles, your gloves, and your apron, and to cover your surface, okay? Resin makes a mess, and it's gonna ruin your nice clothes, so just be careful with that. Alright, so I'm just gonna go through the materials that you'll need for today's project. So you'll need the piece that you'll be uh, painting. Um, so in this case, I'm doing a, the letter M for my baby. And it's, uh, it's a wood letter, so it's already primed. Uh, it's ready to, to go. And then I have a big plastic, well, normal size plastic cup, smaller size plastic cups. This will be, um, I will use the small ones to have all the different colors and then I'll use the big one to mix up the, uh, the resin in the first place. Uh, then I have some mixing sticks, some toothpick for details, my measuring cups, <laughs> very old measuring cups. And then I will be obtaining the colors today by uh, using uh, pastel colors and these are uh, sec pastels, so they're dry pastels. Uh, you have to be careful when you buy the pastel uh, sticks because sometimes they are uh, oil pastels and they will not work on this. So this is dry pastels. Um, they will uh, basically you're going to be shaving them into, into powder. Um, then you'll need your two-part resin so the resin I use, it's a, um, it's called Iposurf, uh, this is a Portuguese company, um, Agave Chimica. But basically what you want, I work with uh, epoxy resin, so this is a clear resin uh, that is used on surfboards, so I know it's not gonna uh, get yellow uh, with, um, when, it's the, when a piece is exposed to the sun, so I, I don't like when the, because a lot of the craft resins do have that problem, but I, I can go in detail in another video maybe. So, I will need my, um, what do you call this? She's at We call it she's at and a scissor. So, let's go. I'm just gonna uh, use my Shizatsu knife to kind of like destroy the, <laughs> the little uh, pastel sticks. Um, basically, just wanna turn the pastel into powder, so you just go and kind of shape, 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 shape like just like very gentle. Okay, so I'm gonna measure up my resin. Um, so the resin I use has a ratio of one to zero point twenty-five. So I, 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 some people say, oh, do the partner first or the resin first. And I don't care. I do whatever is, is close, to be honest. So I'm gonna do how much is it? I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do 60. So I need 15. So mix the resin very, very well. That's one key thing. It's mixing it very, very well. Um, I don't really care for the bubbles yet uh, because after I'll show you what I do to uh, get rid of them. So I just mix it. My most important thing is that you mix it well. So really go down. Um, I've worked with many different resins. I've worked with uh, the normal crushed resins. I've worked I think with three different kinds of epoxy resins from this uh, chemical company. Um, it's a proper like um, uh, industrial resins kind of thing. And um, to be honest, <laughs> nothing that you see a lot of people on doing tutorials tell you to. Oh, you have to do mix the resin for one minute, and they put a little arm clog. It's just it's a bit of BS, yeah. Um, just mix it well. Just mix it well. So how do you know if your resin is mixed well? You won't be able to see on the camera. It's, it's very difficult. But you will see on the resin. So when you do this, like so, you can't see. 
you will see little strikes. So you will see that the two components are not mixed. And so it looks like there's like, um, so you have your, your resin and then there's like little strikes on it, so like little lines on it. And that's how you know your resin is not mixed properly. And the bubbles will brush them after in a way. All right. So now, Transparent for the cells after. Okay, so just show you pigment there. So one of the things why I use this base here is can see, okay, sure. okay. Can you see that there's like these little um, teeth on this? Yeah. And basically what this is going to do is like it's going to raise your piece. So this little one there. Yeah. So it will prevent your piece to get all um, sticky. At, like sticking to the um, to whatever surface you're working on. All right, so here we go. Fun time. Right, ready? Let's go. So we're gonna start. Now, to brush your bubbles in resin, you get a little thing like this. There you go. So, this is gonna go everywhere now. resin is sort of moving, I just go with the white again because I actually want white. to it. It's so annoying this part, we have to wait. <laughs> Alright, so here's the result of our letter. So it's all dry now. 
can touch it. Um, and as you can see, the the resin always moves a little bit when you're um, when it when it's drying and because of the fire and everything. I added some more glitter here on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with the result, and it's gonna look beautiful in my little son's bedroom door. It's gonna look gorgeous. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you make your letter, send me a photo on Instagram, I wanna see it. Alright, so, all the way from Portugal. Beijinhos!